We don't want to hear about happy people, established people coming to grief. What about when a man starts off in the fields and makes something of himself? Well said, sir. Spoken like a true gentleman. I have a son. He wastes himself playing dice, sniggering in a corner with a serving lad. And this is a Franklin, a man for whom gratification of the senses is the highest mode of existence. In his house, it blizzards meat and drink. He's also sheriff, justice of sessions, and knight of the shire. You're the purple hat! You're not going to get away without telling your tale! <laughs> I, I don't intend well, to break my bar. Ladies and gents, we're only waiting for one more story. I'm an uneducated sort of chap, lords and ladies, so excuse my sorry, simple sorry, sort of lingo. No, no, no. In Brittany, there was once a knight who loved a lady. Avaragus undertook many a labour in her name. Never, as long as I breathe, will you suffer my jealousy. Never will I stand in your way. Except in public, where his honour demanded he appear sovereign over her. You grant me such freedom. I swear to God I will never cause any rift between us. This much I know, ladies and gentlemen. Love cannot be fenced in by tyranny. Start laying down laws, madam, and love, he beats his wings and he has gone goodbye. Avaragus took Dorigen back to his castle. They lived in bliss until he took a ship to England and the field of combat. Dorigen wept for him, lost sleep, wept again. Her friends tried to comfort her. You murder yourself without cause. I pray to you, dear God, preserve the life of my Lord. For his sake, sink those rocks to hell. His ship will be wrecked. He will be killed. Look at them. They offer no home to man, to bird or beast. Nothing but destruction. Her friends saw there was no joy for her near the sea. They took her inland to a garden, a very paradise. Aurelius, a squire, had loved her for years, but never dared tell until... Madam, take pity. A word from you kills or fulfills. I know my love is in vain. Never did I realize how you felt. By God who gave me soul and breath, I will never be your lover. Aurelius, the day you remove stone by stone all the rocks of Brittany, that's the day I will be untrue. Is there no other way? What pleasure does a man take in life if he makes love to another man's wife? A five-fathom flood to cover the tallest rocks of Brittany. His brother found him and forced him to rest and choose whether he lived or died. Avaragus was home. It never so much as crossed his mind to ask if any man had spoken of love to his wife. Brother, there are ways, sciences, that men use to conjure strange visions. If we can find one, someone who understands the magic of the planets, he could create an illusion, make the rocks disappear. Dorigen will be honor bound to keep her word. I know why you have come. They saw wonders sitting there motionless in his library. Your recompense, we should discuss it. Removal of all the rocks of Brittany from the Gironde to the Seine? At least one thousand pounds. A thousand? I'd pay you the whole round world. Consider it agreed. You will have to sell your inheritance. We must leave tomorrow. He worked night and day to find the most propitious moment. He calculated, and once he'd pinpointed the first mansion of the moon, he chartered the rest by proportion. Hmm. 
My lady, in a garden once, you made me a promise. I have done as you commanded. You will find me waiting in the garden. It is now for you to decide whether I live or die. It is against all the force of nature. I would rather lose my life than surrender my body to shame. Is there nothing else? <gasps> Only this? This is too much. There is nothing more important than truth. You shall stand by your promise. Go to him. You shall tell no one of this misadventure. Where are you going? To the garden. To keep my promise as my husband instructed. Madam, tell your husband. He shows great nobility. He would rather suffer the shame than that you should break your word. I would rather continue my agony than force apart the love between you. I release you. A squire can be as noble as a knight. So, Avaragus and Origen lived out their lives in utter bliss. But... Master, I have never yet failed to pay a debt, but I beg of you two or three years' respite. Did I not keep my covenant with you? Certainly, truly, in full. Have you not possessed the lady? No! No. Aurelius told him. Hmm. Each of you has behaved as nobly as the other, but a scholar can behave as well as either of you. Sir, I release you. I have been paid. And I ask you, lords and ladies, who was the finest gentleman? Hmm? Hmm? Which do you think? Hey, hey? Mm -hmm. Canterbury, Shrine of the Martyr. 